what are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Ogre Boy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 1996 movie Space Jam. Um, so, in this movie, uh, it's set during the period when Michael Jordan had retired from basketball, and uh, he's become a baseball star, and the, the Looney Tunes uh, get him to join them in doing this basketball game against the monsters, a group of aliens who want to enslave the Looney Tunes. And uh, in order to to not be enslaved, they have to win this basketball game. So uh, Michael Jordan agrees to help them. And uh, it eventually leads back to him coming out of retirement and stuff. Um, this is a, a really fun movie. Any, anybody who grew up in the 90s probably grew up with this movie. And everything I used to watch it all the time as a kid. I, I think most '90s kids did. Uh, between watching it in school and watching it at home, watching it with friends, uh, I used to watch this all the time. And uh, it, it's one of those that I still like quite a bit. I don't enjoy it near as much as I used to. I think because I've seen it so many times. Uh, this time when I rewatched it, I didn't have as much fun with it as I did. But there are still a lot of really fun moments in here everything I don't think it's as bad as some people say I know there are some people that have said that it's aged really badly and stuff I don't think it's really that I think it just it's one of it's one of those 90s movies that you can tell as a 90s movies like like every decade has those movies that feel like the time that they were released and everything kind of like a little time capsule and this movie is the same way it uh, it, it it is one of the most 90s movies ever um, but it's a lot of fun and everything. I still really enjoy it. I think Michael Jordan is a lot better actor than most people say he is. Like, I mean, seeing he's not really an actor anyway, he, he was pretty good in this movie. Yeah, I thought he was a lot better than most people say and everything. He, he did a pretty good job. Uh, and you got a pretty good supporting cast uh, 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 with... Uh, Teresa Randall playing his wife and she was really good and uh, Wayne Knight is Stan his publicist and assistant he, he's really good really funny your typical character for Wayne Knight to play though it's like you've seen him play this character and other stuff before but he, he's still likable and everything in this and uh, Bill Murray plays himself in here as well and he, he's really hilarious in here and steals the show whenever he's on screen and everything so it has a really good good live action cast plus there are a lot of, uh, of basketball players I, I don't remember most of their names to be honest because I'm not really into sports and everything it's weird this is one of those sports movies that I absolutely love even though I'm not really a sports person um, and part of that I think is because of the Looney Tunes. I've all, I'm more into animation and stuff, and I've always loved Looney Tunes and everything. I used to watch them all the time as a kid on Saturday morning, so uh, it's awesome getting to see all these characters and everything. And uh, this is also the one where we got introduced to Lola Bunny, who has become a fan favorite. Uh, I've always liked Lola, I, even though in this movie I didn't think, I didn't really. As a kid, I didn't really think a lot about her and stuff, but um, but I liked her in other Looney Tunes stuff I've seen since this movie came out and everything. And, and she she's likable, and but I, I love a lot of the characters. My favorite Looney Tune is Daffy, though. Now I think the animation is really good in here. It holds up really well, like the way they blend the animation and the the live action it just works really well and I, I think that was awesome and everything and uh, like the the story is really fast-paced they, they pretty much get to the point pretty quickly they go through a little bit showing Michael's career as a baseball player and how he's struggling because he doesn't really feel like he he fits in as a good baseball player and everything but uh, and it's 
kind of leads to his comeback as a basketball player and everything, which I thought was kind of cool. But I, I, I really enjoy this movie. I think it's, it's a lot of fun. I wouldn't say that it's like one of the best movies of my childhood, but it's one that I always enjoyed watching as a kid and everything. It, I enjoyed it a lot more back then, though. Like as a kid, I, I, I used to love this movie, and I still like it quite a bit. And uh, it has a really good soundtrack too. That's one thing that actually has held up really well is the, and once again, that's one of the reasons why this is one of the most 90s movies ever is because of its soundtrack, but it has a really great soundtrack. All of the songs in here are great, especially I Believe I Can Fly, which is one of my, is probably my favorite song in the movie, but I also love Fly Like an Eagle and the, the, the Space Jam theme song and all the songs in here are really great. It has a really great soundtrack with some really good R&B music and stuff and uh, I think that Joe Pitka did a pretty good job directing it and this was a pretty fun movie for being something that was inspired by a Nike's commercial um, I, I never would have expected that something that was based on that would have become a movie and become the phenomenon it did but and everything and I, I didn't know about that until years after uh, this movie came out uh, probably at least 15 20 years after was when I actually found out about it being based on a Nike's commercial which I thought was kind of cool that those commercials I think aired like in the year that I was born and stuff too which is crazy um, but uh, it's, it's a really fun movie I don't think Space Jam A New Legacy is going to be able to be as good as this one. It's hard to say. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of mixed on that movie. I, in a way, I kind of want to... I'm kind of looking forward to it. In a way, I'm not. I just, I'm excited to see the Looney Tunes again. And I miss like the old traditional animation and stuff that we're going to be getting in that movie. So um, I, I do look forward to seeing them again and everything because I, I love the Looney Tunes and everything and this is a fun movie I, even though I'm not really a sports person I, this is one of those sports movies that I absolutely love and everything it's one of very few sports movies that I really am into and everything I watch this movie every now and then and still really enjoy it maybe not quite as much as I did as a kid but it's still a lot of fun and everything so I, I'd say I'd give Space Jam a 7 out of 10 it's a, a pretty decent movie for what it is and why it was made and everything being made as a Nike's commercial, an extended Nike's commercial. It, it turned out pretty, pretty good and it holds up pretty well. Uh, it's not super, super great, but it, it's a lot of fun and everything and uh, has a lot of good slapstick Looney Tune humor that you would expect from it and everything, which is awesome too and uh, everything. So yeah. Uh, but anyway, let me know in the comments what you think of Space Jam, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and also, uh, tell me who your favorite Looney Tune is, I'm curious to know that too, and have a good day, everybody.